Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom footprint that has a custom shaped pad. Let's have a look into the recommended PC footprint. If we go down at the end, we will see the recommended uh, PCB footprint layout. It has all the dimensions and uh, parameters that is required to create the PCB footprint. You know that to create a PC footprint, first of all, we need to create the pads. Now we use pad designer to create the pads for uh, different pins. Now, if I open up pad designer here, and if I go to layers, you can select different shape for the pad, and you can see top view and the uh, cross section view. Now. Here, if you go to this geometry tab, you see different options that you can select. Now it has a option that says shape. So this is for custom shaped design. So you can basically select the shape and you can select the shape here to create that specific pad. Now in this video, what we are going to do is to create that custom shape. And in a later video, we will see how to use that shape to create a pad and then we will use that pad to create the PCB footprint. To do that, open PCB editor and I have opened PCB editor here. Now in PCB editor, go to file, create a new shape file. So here, if you go here, you have this option shape symbol. I will save this shape as GS66516 source shape so this will be easier to remember now i have to browse the folder where i want to save this file i will save this file in the same folder that i saved my other pads which is inside this folder custom library okay so click open now if you click ok this will open up this blank canvas. Now we have to draw the shape here. For better viewing option, I will turn on the grids. So if you go to setup grids and turn on the grids, okay. Now you can also go to setup and if you go to design parameters, you can see some design parameters options here like the, if you go to design here you can see the canvas size i always prefer to move the origin into the uh, center like not exactly center but somewhere in the center so what i will do i will make it uh left side the left side i will make it maybe 5000 mils so and in the y-axis i'll do the same and i don't need this big canvas so i will make it 10 inches so this will be also 10 inches now if i apply it you see the canvas is smaller and the origin is center in the center here okay it's not a big deal but i think uh, i always prefer to work in this way now let me do this let me bring up the data sheet also so if we Move them side by side we can see the dimensions and the canvas together so it will be easier for us to draw these are the tools that we have to create different shapes this is for circular shapes this is for rectangular or uh, square shapes this is for non-standard shapes that uh, what we need to use now let's select this tool and select uh, go to this option by default you selected edge and uh, top layer you can select bottom but we we need to select top because this is going to be on the top layer now in this uh, type field you need to select static solid so by default this select uh, selected everything what we need to select but if it is not like this make sure to change the setting here okay if this window you cannot see this window that means i think it will be hidden so if you click options here you can find this window okay let's go back to the dimensions 
if you look carefully here, they have provided the dimension in three small segments. So this segment is a small rectangle dimension of it is here 59 mils by 85 mils. This one is the bigger rectangle in the middle and the dimension of this is 310 by 204 mils. And at the right side, we have another small rectangle that is dimensioned 59 by 85 mils. Okay, now if you want to find out the length of this shape, like uh, at the top edge, you have to add this portion, then the middle one, then the right one. Okay, so it's going to be 59, 59 mils plus 310 mils plus 59 mils. Okay which is going to be 428. So we have a total length of 429 mils here. Now let's begin drawing the shape. So we will start from this point, okay? Remember this point. So we will make the origin at this point. So it doesn't matter. You can select different, uh, start from different points, but it's going to end up with the same shape. So what I will do uh, to go to a specific coordinate, you have to type here X in the command window, X, then X coordinate. So you put X first, a space, X coordinate, then another space, Y coordinate. So I want to go to zero, zero coordinate. So I put X a space, zero, a space, zero. Now if I hit enter, it will go to that point. So you see, it selected the origin at that point, and the other end is still loose. Now I need to go to the other point, which is this point. Now you remember this point, right? So this point will be the addition of B2 plus B1 plus again B2, which we got 428. So if we want to go to that point, we need to put X, and X is X axis coordinate is 428 and Y axis coordinate is going to be same as previous, so zero. Now if I hit enter, it went there. You see? Now, so this is this was our first point, this is the second point. You see? Now we need to go here at this point. So the, the Y coordinate will be different now, but the X coordinate will same. Now let's go to that coordinate again, x. So x coordinate will be similar as before, but the y coordinate will be below the previous coordinate. So the length of this portion we already know is the height of B2 that is 85 mils. And as we are going below zero, it is negative. I'm putting minus 85. If I hit enter, it will go to that point. Okay, so it's, it's this point. Now we need to go to this point. For this point, the y coordinate will be same as before, which was minus 85, but the x coordinate will be this coordinate minus the length or the width of B2. So the x coordinate of this point was 428 and the length of this portion is 59 mils. So if we subtract 59 mils from 428, we get 369. Let's go to that point x. 369 and y coordinate is minus 85. Okay, now we went there, you see. Now we have to come to this point. The x coordinate will be same as before, but the y coordinate will be equal to the length of B1. So it's not the length, it's the height of B1. Now the height of B1 is given here 300, 
and 10. Now 310 is weight, height of B1 is 204. Okay, so we already know the x coordinate. Let's go to that x 369. Y, no, we don't have to write y. Y coordinate is minus 204. Let's hit enter. Okay, now we come to that point. We have to come here. Okay, so the coordinate of this one, remember, will be equal to the width of B2. And the width of B2 is 59. Okay, so we already know the x coordinate, x is 59, and y coordinate will be same as before, minus 204. Okay, press enter. We came to this point. Now we have to again come to this point. So for this one, the x coordinate is same as before, x 59, but the y coordinate of this point will be same as the y coordinate of this point. And we found that to be minus 85. Minus 85. Okay. We came to this point. Now we have to come to this point. So x coordinate will be 0. And y coordinate will be same as before. Minus 85. x 0 minus 85. Okay. We came to this point. Now to close this. Drawing, we have to go to the end point. We can manually go here or we can just do the same thing. So we can just go to 0, 0 coordinate again. We sense the shape. You see, it's not that difficult. You just have to figure out the coordinates and it's very simple to draw it. Now let's save this shape. Okay, I saved it. Now we have to save this shape as dot ssm format as well to do that go to file and select create symbol keep the same name and click save here i think i have saved this uh, symbol as dot ssm before so i will operate the previous file and it's done i will end this video here and i will show you how to use this shape symbol to create a pad and how to use that pad to create that custom footprint in my next video thank you for watching this video have a good day